let's see what is zang test zang test it's nothing but it is the rapid supplemental test for pemphigus that is it is for pemphigus okay it is the rapid supplemental test rapid supplemental test that is done for pemphigus all right that is the zang test this test it is also known as the chicken pox skin test okay it is also known as the chicken pox skin test and herpes skin test okay the other name for this test is the chicken pox skin test and the herpes skin test now what is this test that is on histological examination there will be a disappearance of intercellular bridges okay when we are doing the histological examination there will be disappearance of intercellular bridges okay that is this is the acantholysis right acantholysis what is acantholysis acantholysis is nothing but there will be a loss of intercellular connections or the intercellular bridges or the connection between the intercellular intercellular bridges is lost that is the acantholysis so what happens on histological examination there will be the disappearance of intercellular bridges that is results in acantholysis because of which there will be clumps of epithelial cells or found lying free within the vesicular space okay what happens the clumps of epithelial cells found lying free within the vesicular space free within the with vesicular space okay called as the zang cells this is called as the zang cells okay the scraping of the ulcer base to look for this zang cells is known as the zang test okay all right on histological examination there will be a disappearance of the intercellular bridges and the clumps of epithelial cells will be lying free within the vesicular space that is called as the zang cells now we are just scraping of the ulcer base to look for this zang cells to find whether the zang cells is present or not that is known as the zang test okay that is it means the scraping of ulcer base to look for the this zang cells that is known as the zang test now for example if you see in this diagram okay the histological section okay here will be the epithelium right and here will be the connective tissue now if you see here will be the cells okay and there will be loss of intercellular bridges Okay, there is the loss. There is no continuity. This is the loss of intercellular bridges. That is the acantholysis, as we saw previously. All right. And here there will be a clumps of epithelial cells found lying free within the vesicular space. That is like this. The cells lie free. Okay, like this. That cells. Okay, the cells are known as the zang cells. All right. scraping of the ulcer base to look for this zang cells is known as the zang test now what are the stains used okay the stains used for this is jimsa stain okay then methylene blue stain h and e stain that is your hematoxylin and eosin stain and toluidin blue stain okay these are the stains that is used for this zang test that is about zang test these are the points you need to remember for your exam that's it about zang test if you like the video hit the like button share the video and subscribe the channel